have been followed like uh, our local like uh, the, the tournaments you know and and like we have a team that came here to compete some athletes from our, our academy and it was very important to to develop like sports competition is very important to develop sports in the country so even we we have a, a a good team as a professor working here in Ukraine. We still need like uh, the community, build the community. The community being means that we need schools, we need people training jiu-jitsu, we need competition uh, to develop the sports, to bring brands, to bring uh, competitors, to bring like the lifestyle. But jiu-jitsu is a new sport compared with the other martial arts. Also, like I have the blessed to start building jiu-jitsu community in different countries and and I, I know how to help like the locals how to build it the right way so I think we have a pretty good group in Ukraine TMS is an organization with the world I think it will be and our main goal is to raise the maximum level of jiu-jitsu and we invite the most top jiu-jitsu in Ukraine Лео Вера – это легенда джиу-джитсу, и мы очень рады, что он к нам приехал. Это будет, наверное, самый крутой семинар в мире. Так и есть. Это наш первый опыт. Мы решили начать с Лео Виера. В планах привозить такие же легендарных джиссеров, которые знают в мире, и чтобы у нас в Украине через этих людей мы получали популярность нашему виду борьбы, то, чем мы занимаемся, то, что мы продвигаем, считаю, что эти люди делают популярным джиу-джитсу. В планах привозить э, топовых джиссеров с разных академий, и это и Атас, и ЗР Тим, ну, пока начинаем с чекмат. Like we're not just about competitors or competition, but mm -hmm. also the lifestyle that the Jiu Jitsu brought. So there are there are a nice and health environment behind the Jiu Jitsu with uh, discipline, with uh, a culture behind to take care of your body, your health, and you know, not just competition. Mm -hmm. First and first, Jiu Jitsu is uh, about discipline about routine yeah you know like I used to say like uh, Jiu Jitsu it's so much about respect and it's understand respect. and understand uh, you know empathy so help so much to do to understand the others so you build a lot of empathy for the others so and uh, it's a very amazing martial arts that you learn how you learn so much about yourself mm -hmm. And you learn so much about the opponents, about, and you learn so much about the strategy that that can be evolved in this uh, in this challenge. You know, uh, you know, it's funny, like, I, I should be travel so much to Europe, so I was expecting some kind of like really similar but the weather is amazing very beautiful uh, the people and the food uh, yeah it's it's a very surprised me a lot the food is really good uh, the people very beautiful people and they're very nice make you feel welcome mm -hmm. 
you wanna come back? <laughs> yes, today you have eaten uh, borscht. Do you oh, like yeah, the the Ukrainian food? kitchen? Yeah, yeah. Borscht yeah, is good, especially with the garlic with the bread. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu for me? Yeah. Oh my God. Like, I don't know. Like, Jiu-Jitsu for me is everything in my life. I don't see myself without Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu is like my, my, my last name. You know, Liu Vieira, Jiu-Jitsu. That's my last name. Because everything that I have, it was through Jiu-Jitsu. And still going, like coming from Jiu-Jitsu. So, opportunities to meet new people, travel to a different place, you know, and learn different culture and there's no price and the jiu-jitsu that's what jiu-jitsu gave it to me so i'm so i'm so glad to to, to this You know, it's funny because uh, not in nine, I like I used to tell everybody that Jiu Jitsu, that I saw Jiu Jitsu in different ways as I, I was getting old. When I was a kid and I, I started long, I started with seven, ten years old. So when I when I saw I saw Jiu Jitsu as uh, fun, I just was looking something to have fun on the mat. And that's what the kids make in the mat, they have fun. So later on, Jiu-Jitsu became a hobby because it was not fun anymore, but it was a hobby. So I want to be a, a fighter fighter. I want to be a professional football, but Jiu-Jitsu was my hobby. I like to be on the mat with my friends. Then later when I became a teenager, uh, Jiu-Jitsu became like a, a way to helped me to pay my expenses because uh, I got opportunities to, to start to work with Jiu Jitsu. And then I started to make some money. And it then, was useful. Yes. Then uh, like I said, then uh, it was something that was not that not in my mind before. Before it was just fun and then a hobby. And then imagine you can make money with a hobby. And then I will start making money with my hobby. And then and then later became my way of life, became my full time job. You know, and now it's like I have my life without work one day because I work with my hobby. You know, it's so pleasure to to be on the mat, help to develop the sport to my students, to my schools, my affiliation, and see how jiu-jitsu is going to everywhere. So I grow up, in, uh, I come from a poor family in Brazil uh, with a very limited expectation. And Jiu-Jitsu open up a possibility for I travel the world, for I, I learn different language, I make friends everywhere in, the, in, in different countries, and I even today I cannot count how many countries that I used to visit, and the sport still growing. Mm -hmm. And as a team, we still growing with checkmate. So I think we have been very blessed with uh, this sport, and also helping so many people to Jiu-Jitsu.
Sami Jiu Jitsu. It's, a, it's like an umbrella with a lot of uh, different parts. So you, people, you, people learn Jiu Jitsu as a self defense, Jiu Jitsu as a sport, Jiu Jitsu as a conditional training, Jiu Jitsu as sport Jiu Jitsu, but also it's a big community that built the that born from the jiu-jitsu we have a we have a brands we have competitions we have a we have a lot of fans that start training jiu-jitsu families and and it's a martial arts that very addicted mm -hmm. to this lifestyle and jiu-jitsu is not stuck stuck in one kind of lifestyle but we have a lot of different lifestyle and it and uh and people usually, people sometimes they start training jiu-jitsu for one lifestyle and then they find themselves with a different lifestyle. They start to get more commitment with jiu-jitsu and with a different lifestyle that jiu-jitsu has. And, and that is the beautiful in the jiu-jitsu is that, you know, so they're able to be adapting as long as you know more about yourself and the more you fall in love with this sport. They are fit for everybody. Mm -hmm. You can be big, you can be short, you can be skinny, you can be heavy, you can be that 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 is just for all ages. You can be young and you can be old. So there are that's so many opportunities and very uh, very pleasure to to train in jiu-jitsu as a hobby, also as a competition. Because Jiu-Jitsu, they divide Jiu-Jitsu in three divisions. Mm -hmm. We have a, there's a group of age, and then a group of level experience with colors of the belt, and we have a four levels of the belt, and and also is a, we have a ten different divisions of a weight class. So it's a very very divide. So make it easy and very fair for people training, compete, and in the safe environment. It's a friend and a family envi environment. That's why so much family looking for Jiu-Jitsu to, to be a, a very good way to train your body, your mentally, also get also like a, not just a physical condition, but also as a self-defense. Mm -hmm. That's the why MMA fighters uh, uh, look for Jiu-Jitsu to learn how to protect themselves on the cage. So be, behind the gentle, behind this martial art, the gentle art, Jiu Jitsu is still very effective as a self-defense. And, and, and it's the only spot that you can spy every day and not get injury. So that's nice. показывал вещи, которые я ему говорю, а что ты нам на тренировках там в Америке не показываешь? То есть он все вещи, которые он показывал, прям были такие простые, рабочие, которые подходят многим, как бы всем. Огромное спасибо, особенно Шаю Гутману. К сожалению, его тут час сегодня не было, мы по нему очень скучаем. Лео показывает именно концепцию. Это очень интересно. У меня чуть, -чуть другая разница, я тоже от концепции ухожу очень сильно в детали. От Лео очень интересно, что он очень сильно тебе открывает эти детали из-за концепции. Больше картину видно. Сначала большую картину, а потом уже он дает самому вникать и разбираться, чтобы мозги работали, и разные вариации, которые каждый индивидуально может к себе подбирать.
любые семинары, которые появляются на просторах Украины, они нужны для того, чтобы то европейское мировое джиу-джитсу, которое есть в мире в целом, оно э, начина, ну, потихоньку интегрировалось в украинское джиу-джитсу. При Слеу, ну, это мировое, ну, я бы сказал бы, всеукраинское событие. And see how many people show up, it's, it's amazing. So I, I, it's really surprising. And also see like how the level they are, you know, like, so they, a lot of color belts, you know, a lot of good questions, a lot of, like, a lot of jiu-jitsu. So, you know, you're not like, It's not like a, it's, a, it's a people who knows you, know, uh, like wants to know, they're hungry to learn more jiu-jitsu, but they already know a lot of jiu-jitsu. I want to come back. I want to come back. I want to bring my wife and kids. So many different people in different cultures. You know, and that's beautiful jiu-jitsu, so we don't care, like, politics, re like, religion. We just, mm -hmm. we just want to have fun on the mat, sparring, training, and, you know, everybody the, with the flag of jiu-jitsu.